Hi there! MailCoach is a self-hosted solution to send out email campaigns and to create automations such as drip campaigns. Behind the scenes, MailCoach uses one of the many reliable email sending services to send out emails, such as Amazon SES, Mailgun and a few others. In MailCoach, there are no limits on how many subscribers you can have or on how many mails you can send. In this video, I'd like to show you a quick overview of everything that MailCoach has to offer. Let's dig in. Let's log into MailCoach first. Here's what you'll see when you're logged into MailCoach. We have a section on newsletters, we have a section on trip campaigns, audience, transactional mails, and some settings. Let's take a look at the settings first. And let's take a look at the driver section. Like I mentioned earlier, MailCoach sends email via third-party email sending services, and you can select your favorite one here. In our extensive documentation, you'll find detailed instructions how to set this up. Let's head back. In the list screen of the audience section, you can see your email lists. These lists are used when sending campaigns or automations. In our documentation, we mention how you can create forms so people can subscribe to these lists. And of course, you can have as many lists as you want. If you click one of the lists, you'll see some statistics around the growth of your lists. On the subscriber screen, you can see all subscribers. And don't worry, these are all dummy email addresses. Don't try to mail them. You can also tag subscribers and create segments but we'll take a look at that in a dedicated video on campaigns. Let's head back and take a look at the campaigns. Let's create a campaign. You can give it a name. You can select to which list you want to send it. And you can also pick a template. This is basically some HTML that you'll use as a starting point. On the settings screen, I can optionally enable tracking for when somebody opens this mail or when somebody clicks a link in the mail. On the content screen, you can edit the content of your campaign. Inside of your content, you can use one of the available placeholders. On the send screen, you can check your settings one final time, send a test email, and if everything looks good, send out the campaign to all your subscribers. You could also schedule your campaign so that it is sent at a later date. Large campaigns will be sent in the background and we will throttle mails to not overwhelm your email service provider. Some of our customers have reported that they could successfully send campaigns to lists containing more than 500,000 subscribers. Let's head back to the campaigns list. You can see that this one is scheduled to be sent later and this one is already sent. Let's click that one. Here you can see an overview on how your campaign has been doing. And you can also see who opened the mail and which links were clicked. If you want to know more about campaigns, take a look at the dedicated video on campaigns. Let's now head back and turn our attention to automations. Using automations, you can create advanced email flows using an easy to use UI. Let's create an automation. I'm going to call it send welcome mail. This automation should be triggered when somebody subscribes to the My Subscribers list. Let's save these settings and head to Actions. And here we can define what should happen when somebody subscribes. And for this automation, I want to send an email. Which one? The welcome email. It might feel a little bit more human if we don't send that welcome email immediately after a user subscribes, but after a short period of time, maybe an hour or so. So let's add a delay. Wait for a duration, and we're going to wait for an hour to send the welcome mail. I can save these actions and I'm done. Now everybody subscribing to my list will get a welcome mail after an hour. You can see that there are a lot more building blocks that you can use for automations. To know more, head over to the dedicated video on automations. Okay, so we've covered campaigns and automations. The last temple feature is that MailCoach can log any sent mails when installed into a Laravel application. Let's take a look at the log. For every sent mail, 
you can also see the opens and the clicks. You can also create templates that the developers of your app can use when sending mailables. This way, non-technical members of the team can edit the content of the mails via the MailCoach UI. To know more about how MailCoach handles transactional mails, head over to the dedicated video. There are many more options in MailCoach that I didn't show you. There's support for double opt-in, you can segment lists, you can tag subscribers, there's even a full API. Head over to our documentation to know more. I hope that you like this little overview of MailCoach and maybe I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.